This is perfect. I have wanted to play Saga Frontier for the longest time. Ever since like back in the late 90s when it came out, I've always wanted to play this game and I haven't played it because one, I didn't want to play it on an emulator and two, I could never find it at a used Mon Pa game store. I could always find Saga Frontier 2. I got that. I got the guide for the game too. But I could never play Saga Frontier and I always wanted to play it. The thing is, you know, I remember watching these long plays of that game. Starting out with like Emily's story, which is one of the characters, just, you know, you know, starting the long play on YouTube and thinking, dude, you know what? The story is too good. This game looks too good. I, uh, I, I gotta play it. I don't want to watch a playthrough of it. I gotta play it, right? So this is awesome news. And I can't wait to check out the trailer because I'm probably going to be getting this uh, right away. I've actually been thinking about trying Romance of Saga 3. So let me get the trailer pulled up for you guys. And uh, let's uh, check this out here. All right. Saga Frontier Remastered. Let's see. So yeah, there's all these different characters and you all do each of their stories. I've actually never played a Saga Frontier game. I feel like Square Enix is really pushing Saga lately. With all the romancing Saga games. Okay. Different stories and characters for each unique protagonist. Dude, the presentation in this game. So they up the character models a little bit. The backgrounds look a little bit clearer. Woman seeking revenge. That girl is the one I've watched on YouTube. God, it looks really good. I can't believe the, um... The, you got this, like, half PlayStation presentation and half vintage Final Fantasy presentation with the bigger enemies as the bosses. New protagonist, Fuse. New events and cutscenes not implemented in the original. So Saga Frontier Definitive Remastered Edition. This was the JRPG during the Golden Era. You know, the Golden Era, I like to call it, from like 94 to 2002, where all these JRPGs just killed it, right? Man, this was one of the games that I did not play and never got around to playing. But dude, it looks, it looks great. Coming summer 2021, I'll, I'll be there.